It is my honor to welcome to the stage a partner of Symphony since 2023, Task Guys, whose collaboration and workflow platform is now used by 600 firms across 88 countries. So if you were at Innovate last year, you may have seen phase one of today's integration, but we are thrilled to unveil phase two today. So from Task Guys, I'll welcome to the stage Phil and Keyshawn, and to set some context, around the business need for this integration. We're also gonna hear from Miguel at Euroclear. Hi everyone, I'm Miguel Ferreira, Chief Commercial Officer of Americas and uh, Global Financial Institutions at Euroclear. In case you don't know Euroclear, um, we are um, a post-trade uh, market infrastructure. The core of our companies are central security depositories. So maybe in order to make it easier for you here in the US market, if you know DTCC, we are the global international DTCC. We provide settlement, custody, lending and borrowing, collateral management solutions to clients around the world in 60 markets, 60 currencies. And we service 38 trillion of assets, which is a massive number, but probably not for the US because we know that wherever we go in the US, we uncover billions of dollars in business uh, uh, around the corner. Um, Years ago, we, um, we decided that we will not be able to do everything on our own. We will need to collaborate. We will need to uh, invest in companies that will help us speed up the solutions towards our clients. And that's how we, seven years ago, we landed at the door of uh, Phil, Task Eyes. We believe then, as we believe today, in their capabilities to support our client servicing, to support our speedier and quicker, better resolution of queries for our clients. We are very proud of the achievements so far. We have hundreds of clients on the platform. We have reached 98% of client satisfaction on queries solved by Ataskais. We have among the global, the global firms or so the global clients um, um, an increasing uh, level of usage. And we, um, we, um, we have reached last year, for the first time, more queries solved in Ataskais than in email, which is a massive uh, milestone for us. So as we enter a new strategic phase in Euroclear where we, we look at providing more data-enabled services, we reiterate our bet on task guys as our preferred um, channel to uh, provide client services of quality towards our clients. Thank you very much. Floor Thank is you, yours, Miguel. Please. Thank you very much. I mean, that is a major milestone. More queries solved on task guys than solved over email for your primary clients. So we're really excited and thank you for all the efforts and the energy and the, and the, the devotion that you give to us as well. Um, good afternoon, everybody um, in the stage and online. My name is Phil Slavin. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Task Guys. Um, as you said, we were here last year uh, in London. So if you, if you were in London, you would have seen us we're presenting phase one of the integration. The integration and the partnership that we have with Symphony is very important to us. Symphony started off as very much secure chat in the front office, and we started off very much about intercompany workflow in the back office. And as you've heard from quite a few people today, that is now coming closer and closer together. So today we're going to be talking to you about phase two of that partnership, and I'm not going to steal any of your thunder, Kishan. He's got it all covered. Um, however, just in case um, you don't know what Task Guys is, Task Guys is an intercompany workflow platform specifically designed to reduce the friction in operations, specifically focusing on exceptions and query resolution when somebody in one firm needs to reach into another firm, navigate through that firm, and identify the right person with the right availability and the right skill and the right authority and the right identity to answer the query for them. And basically, by removing that friction, you take cost out of the equation, you take risk out of the equation. So removing operational risk is one of our primary um, desires for all of our organizations. And the second one, as you already mentioned, is to improve client satisfaction and give you the ability to give a better client service to not only internally to your internal teams, but more importantly, to your customers. And then by taking some of the MI and some of the insights out of the platform, give operational management the ability to make some improvements and identify where they can release capacity inside their operational teams and repurpose that capacity into more value-added services, which is one of the things that Euroclear have actually managed to do, which is really excited about. For those organizations um, who use TaskGuys, and I will iterate that I would say probably over half of the volume that goes through task guys is not related to Euroclear, so non-Euroclear related workflows. For those organizations that are using task guys, 
they report a 70% reduction in issue resolution time, a three times improvement in the productivity of those operational clerks, um, and perhaps most importantly, a 90% reduction in operational email. So um, I can't see anybody, but if there are clients of ours already in the audience, or if you want to know more about Task Guys, we'd love to explain to you how they've achieved that. Um, the last part is, um, and you've heard a bit, a lot, you've heard a lot about this today, which is about integrations and interoperability. And you would have heard the word interoperability used consistently over the last few years. But I'm here to say that interoperability should not be your problem to worry about. You as the client should not be trying to work out how do all those pieces of the jigsaw fit together. I believe, and uh, Task Guys believes, that it is the responsibility of the providers to work it out for you. And that's why the people that are on stage today have all worked out what the correct workflow between Symfony and their platform is. So you don't have to ask that question. You don't have to go and look for the answer. So we spend a lot of time. Uh, we look at the technology, clearly. We look at the integration. But we spend a lot of time looking at the workflow between platforms and understanding how to create a seamless transition between whichever platform the exception arises on through to whichever platform the person is using where the exception decision or the knowledge for the resolution sits on. And Task Guys provides the intercompany workflow to take the friction out of that process. So when you hear the word interoperability, don't take it away as your problem. Pass it back to the vendor and say, so what are you doing about it? Because it is our responsibility, sorry. It is our responsibility to answer that for you. So I'm going to hand over to Kishan, who's going to show you interoperability in action. Over to Kishan. So I'm going to say the word once again, interoperability. Um, many clients, uh, sorry, many technology vendors, particularly in the operations space, um, talk about interoperability. But what does it mean in practice, or what does it look like in practice, and what are the benefits? Um, so we're going to try and answer those questions for you today. So um, we've got two scenarios that we're going to walk through. Scenario one uh, here is going to focus on query routing for internal collaboration. And then we'll come on to scenario two a little bit later in the demo. So we have a bank here, Maple Bank. Um, there is an operations clerk in the back office called Gemma. She spotted an exception in the Euroclear EasyWay platform. So Euroclear EasyWay, uh, well, EasyWay is Euroclear's preferred platform for highlighting breaks and exceptions. She's going to create what we call a bubble in Task Guys. So a bubble is quite simply a shared problem ticket. Um, and then she's going, she's going to cl collaborate with her colleague that's using Symfony. So we're going to see that sort of internal collaboration between two teams using two different platforms. So into the demo. So on the left-hand screen side here behind me is what most operations users will be very familiar with, the dreaded exception. Um, and this exception here behind me is a result of a price mismatch, so quite a common type of scenario we see in the, uh, in the industry. So there's a, there's a mismatch on the price. And as we said, Gemma uses task guys to resolve her post-trade queries. So our integration with Euroclear means that at a click of a button, we can transfer those exception details over from EasyWay to the Task Guys bubble. So this is the first benefit of interoperability, the ability to seamlessly transfer exception details from its source to the place where Gemma wants to manage that exception in Task Guys, in the bubble. So there's no need to rekey the data from one, pl one platform to another. Um, we keep the structured data, so that structured data is really important, and we'll come on to that later on. Um, but now uh, Gemma can begin resolving this uh, price discrepancy and clarify the issue with her front office colleague. So behind me is the bubble. On the left-hand side is all of those details we added. Um, but we're going to come back to the bubble in a moment. I want to take this moment to talk to you a little bit about a few of the con key concepts on Task Guys. So this is what we call the bubble blotter. Now, the bubble blotter is designed to be the perfect antidote to the chaotic email inbox. It's, everyone knows email is like the worst tool or the platform to use to manage queries. Um, so we've built something that is purpose-built for managing and prioritizing queries. So the bubble blotter at the moment is ordered by economic value. So what that means is that exceptions that are at the highest economic value will be ordered first. We also have the ability to order by service level. So if you're a client service organization, you can order your blotter based on queries from your clients that are the most important to you. 
So the bubble blotter is really designed to empower you as a business to prioritize what's important to you, not the, most, not the next unread email in your inbox. Um, and that really kind of meets that, what I like to call the holy grail of issue resolution, which is allowing you to be more efficient about the tools, you, about the queries that you manage, but at the same time providing a better service to your clients because you're more efficient. So we'll go back to the bubble that we just created earlier. So in this bubble, we're going to invite the uh, colleague, the front office colleague, to clarify this trade discrepancy because Gemma believes it might be because of uh, uh, something to do with the way the trade was booked. So I'm going to introduce you now to something called the Task Guys Smart Directory. So there's two key parts to the Smart Directory. We're going to touch on the first one now and then the second one in the next scenario. So the first um, uh, benefit of the Task Guys Smart Directory well, all of the, both, both benefits are designed to solve some key problems in the operations industry. And we heard about these earlier on today as well. So the first problem it aims to solve is Gemma doesn't need to know the right email address or the right distribution list to send this query to. Whether it's an internal colleague in large organizations, that's just as challenging as it is for going externally. All she needs to do is select the front office. So she just selects front office here. And, uh, uh, and the smart directory will take care of the rest. So that's the first problem you're going to solve here. So what, what's going to happen here is when Gemma clicks Add, that's going to create a room in Symfony. It's going to add the right front office group to that room and transfer those exception details across into Symfony. So this is quite powerful. So we have one, or, one team using, using Task Guys to manage their queries collaborating with another team in the front office to, uh, uh, to manage, the t manage the same query. So two different teams using two different platforms to collaborate, that true power of interoperability. Closing that proximity between teams to enable efficient query resolution. <laughs> so, <laughs> watch yourself. <laughs> yeah. Blown away by the demo. It ducked down. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see that information is, is, is all that exception information from EasyWay, right from EasyWay to the bubble, has now been transferred over to the uh, Symphony room. So it's almost like the exception is moving its way through between platforms. So there's, there's, a, there's a, some messages exchanged between Gemma and Joshua. Joshua is the trader on Symphony. Um, She's messaged to say, can you clarify what this issue is? And it looks like the trader says, you are correct. The, the, the commission has been missed from our side. The trade details have been amended. So that is our first scenario, internal collaboration and query routing uh, between Task Guys and Symphony. We're really now, today, very proud to announce our uh, phase two of our integration with Symphony. For the first time, you can now go cross-company between two different firms using Symfony and Task Guys to resolve issues. And what I mean by that is you can raise a query in Symfony from one organization and have it resolved in another organization using Task Guys. So we're very proud to be able to announce this today. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about, in this second scenario, we're going to talk to you a little bit about work allocation and obviously the fact that it's, it's intercompany. So we're going to continue from that first scenario that we, that we just spoke about. So Cedar Bank, the new bank, new fictitious bank we're going to introduce you to, was the counterparty on that trade. They've also spotted the same issue on their end, perhaps in another exception manager. So they're going to use Symfony to raise a query and resolve that external query in a bubble with uh, Gemma uh, in the back office of Maple Bank. So Cedar Bank and Maple Bank. So, into the demo once again. So now you have Symphony behind me and Task Guys uh, over there on the, on the right hand side. To raise a query uh, via Symphony, it's, it's quite easy. All Nancy, Nancy is the user from Symphony, all Nancy needs to do is add the organization she wishes to send the request to, in this case it's Maple Bank, and the query topic, right? A simple topic of unmatched trade in this case. And then finally, she just needs to add the, uh, the function or the business area that she wishes to send the request to. Again, in this case, it's settlements. And now, Task Guys is very much focused on post-trade query resolution, uh, and, and structured data is very important. So the bubble needs some information about this query. So Nancy's going to add some, some useful information, such as 
the, the product the, uh, and, and I think also the, uh, the trade ID to help define the query. Just so that we can get um, what number one, uh, we can get um, uh, insights and analytics. And number two, it's going to be very useful for uh, query, uh, sorry, work routing. So the second benefit of the smart directory uh, that we didn't mention earlier, the second benefit is um, work allocation. So the smart directory will help find the most appropriate person at Maple Bank to resolve the query. And it will do this by looking at who's online, who's, um, uh, uh, who's got capacity for new work, and who is the most experienced at resolving these types of queries. Now, because Gemma solved that query initially at Maple Bank earlier, um, she's going to be the most appropriate person. So when we hit Create Room, that's going to create the, the room in Symphony, and that's going to add and create a bubble for Maple Bank on the right-hand side here. And we'll see that Gemma is the most appropriate person uh, based on that information. So there we have it. Two different organizations using two different platforms to resolve one exception. Um, now, on the theme of sort of T plus one, we, we're kind of very, we're very sort of uh, conscious of the fact that um, issue resolution times are really important to sort of compress that, that settlement cycle. So during the, the demonstration, we uh, um, timed this, this demo. And, uh, and in, uh, oh, sorry, what I also forgot to mention is that the statuses are updated. So you can update the status in Symfony, that will update this, the, the bubble as well. So I forgot to mention that point. Um, but yeah, so we timed this query resolution, and it took eight, eight minutes, 43 seconds, right? So that's really kind of compressing the, the time scales for resolution. Now, in practice, this wouldn't take eight minutes, 43. It would probably take a lot longer, uh, a little, well, a little bit longer, given the fact that they have to kind of uh, resolve this query. But the point we're making is interoperable technology can really help you know, reduce those, those resolution times. So the final benefit of, uh, of, of interoperability uh, and the fact that we exchange structured data is uh, insights and analytics. So you can select uh, an issue cause or a root cause on task guys, and that's going to say, uh, uh, we're going to say it's due to a missing commission. And that's useful for insights and analytics and, and reporting. So if we select the reporting functionality on task guys, you can see that if we run a report, because we have structured data and because we're using purpose-built tools, we can see for example, what the request response rate is like for my organization, interaction completion rates, how long things are taking to resolve, and finally, things like the missing commission. So you can see at the bottom, we added a root cause of missing commission. That's a result that causes 40% of our queries on task guys. That may be where we want to invest our investment dollars to, to make us more efficient. So there we go. That's the demonstration of task guys and, and Symphony uh, together cross company. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Um, unfortunately, we don't have time for questions, but what's really exciting is that this is available now. So you guys have any questions, the three of them will also be at cocktails. Yep. So um, <laughs> just pull them aside and you can ask your Symphony account manager as well. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.